I'm quite sure some of you might be thinking how unveiled or how unbelievable some of the stories I read here are. You are not alone. Because anytime I myself read some of these stories, I'm asking myself what kind of people are people meeting out there and what kind of relationships are people into these days. And it's just interesting to know some of the things that people are going through in relationships and some of the people that people are encountering. But then again, it's really understandable because like life in itself is not always fair. Sometimes you meet the wrong people and wrong things happen to you. Sometimes you also meet the right people and perfect people and then and then like great things are happening to you and that's also awesome. I think it's been a while since we had a story on this matter. So today I decided to bring up this story. And while reading this story, I had a new idea. I thought, why always spreading bad news? I mean, it's good to always bring the bad nuts out and, and try to get people to realize that okay there's some dangerous guys out there dangerous women out there dangerous situations out there dangerous relationships out there unhealthy relationships out there yes but then again there's also a brighter side of things why don't i also show that so from time to time i'm going to also bring stories of wonderful people wonderful relationships very healthy relationships very beneficial relationships for people to realize that they also deserve the best and they can also get the best out of their relationship or out of the people that they are in the relationship with if you've not subscribed to the point where you subscribe and join the big family hi guys i'm nessa you're welcome back to my channel if you're new here i'm so glad to have you here with me in today's episode we'll be digesting a story on a relationship it's been a while since we did a story on this matter so today i bring you guys a story so let's zoom right into digesting the story okay let me read the story out and then we digest it together okay so let, i'm having um yeah the story down here so if you see me looking down i'm just reading the story out to you guys so here goes the story i have been in a relationship with my current boyfriend for a year now he has started behaving like a needy baby because i have friends i hang out with but he doesn't have friends so i'm the only one he hangs out with he's always texting and calling me to come online so we communicate when i'm not with him he's fond of starting unnecessary arguments when I am busy with work or hanging out with my friends. He's even insisting I stop hanging out with my friends because he's, he's the only friend I need. He accuses me of cheating when I'm not in the best of mood. Yet, it is needy behavior that changes my mood because I get so worried. I feel he doesn't trust me enough. This isn't how a matured man should behave and it's really getting on my nerves now. How do I handle this? Okay. Okay, guys. She's taking it from the maturity point. That's okay. If it makes her sleep at night, that's fine. That's fine. But there are two red flags here. Yeah, if you guys would agree with me. One is someone telling you not to have friends. Two is someone accusing you of cheating when you know you've not cheated or you don't plan on cheating. I think it's even weird enough that he doesn't have friends because no man is an island. Like you grew up with some sort of children, you went to school, you were in a class, even if you were homeschooled, you, inter you will eventually go out somewhere, you went to church, you went somewhere, I mean you went for an event, your parents, your parents, friends, your cousins, your, you can't tell me you don't have friends, like that's quite weird in the first place and then also imposing that on your partner, that's also another level of it. When someone loves you, the person will not oppress you, the person will not suppress you, the person will support you and protect you. And somebody telling you you don't need friends, you need only me, it's a red flag and a red tag and a red painted everywhere. Quite frankly, whenever I read stories on people who have been physically abused and stuff like that, most of the time, these are some of the signs, these are some of the symptoms of people who would eventually turn out to be physically abusive because if they are able to have you without friends, then it's easier for them to um, abuse you and nobody will come to your aid because who are you going to talk to, who are you going to listen to, who is going to tell you that, oh, leave this guy, who is going to tell you that, oh, what he's doing is not right, you deserve the best, no one because you don't have friends. So that's one of the things that they do. They start to break down barriers. They start to break down any possibility of you noticing the red flag. Because if you have friends, the friends do that for you. They read your boyfriend, 
your friends help you find out some of the red flags that you might be blind to one person cannot give you everything it's only god that can give you everything and bro we're not even married yet what are you talking about stop hanging out with your friends if you even get married you still one or two times or once in a while hang out with your friends just in dating a person is telling you to stop hanging out with your friends like there's a role that friendship plays that boyfriend will not play there's a role that boyfriend will play that friendship will not play so she should he just, he should just come to an understanding of the two different roles that this this kind of situations play in your life if hanging out with your friends is maybe more than you hanging out with him maybe that's why he's complaining but even then, that's no reason for you to say that he's the only friend that you need. What do you need? Seriously, anybody that tells you that you do not need friends, apart from like he, one person, the person is lying to you. Even your mom that gave it to you from the womb self is not saying she's the only person that you need in your life. You need to have friends in your life. Friends are a very crucial part of our lives. We must have friends. Everybody must have friends. Secondly, he mistrusting you. Trust is a very, very important portion of every relationship, be it friendship be it family relation when there is trust that relationship is on a different level if i have a friend that i know that oh this friend have my have my back 24 7 this friend can do this and do this for me there's that kind of trust in this person our relationship is on a different level from somebody that i say oh i don't really know the person i don't even know that he can do this or he can do that or she can do this she can do that that friendship is literally a casual friendship but then if you're talking about like serious friendship serious family ties then that is where trust is also like included so if you are as much as dating somebody a person does not trust you and, and is accusing you of cheating you better run for your life because it will surely end in marriage and it's going to be very very frustrating for me i think one of the most frustrating things that can happen to anybody is being wrongly accused it's so damn frustrating guys it's very very frustrating and you can't help it like you can't force people to trust you and you can't like you can't like even if you explain yourself you can't always explain yourself and get yourself out of it sometimes sometimes it's just unnecessary to even explain yourself sometimes you even explain yourself and it's, it even makes matters worse so if someone is accusing you of cheating when you've not cheated cheating is also a very serious accusation i think sis you should advise yourself because if a person can accuse you of cheating when you've not then he can easily accuse you of anything and most often people also accuse people of things that they themselves are at fault at or they themselves are guilty at they just project it on you so that they themselves will not feel bad so that they don't feel like they're the, they're the only one doing that so it could also mean that maybe he himself is cheating or he has cheated before so he feel that oh okay then these and these signs are just like cheating maybe he just has trust issues like you guys should just sit down and speak about it for some people too cheating is not just about sleeping with somebody or some for some people it has to do with a lot of things just ask him what he means by cheating if he's actually saying that you actually slept with somebody then it's a serious accusation then says advise yourself she was also saying that he normally texts her for them to communicate when he's busy with when she's busy with work and stuff like that so i'm guessing maybe the guy is not busy the guy is not working Maybe if he's working, he's not that busy. So if you think that he's not busy enough, explain to him your situation. And if he's not working, please help him find a job to do. Or please help him to find something to do that will at least keep him busy. So that you guys are on the balance. Because when, sometimes when one person is busy, even for friends, when one friend is busy and you, the other person, are not busy, it's always seems like you, the one who's not busy, it's always like disturbing the one who is busy. And you the one who is not busy you, you actually cannot really understand until you are also you also become busy and you realize that oh this is how it is so like let him understand just sit down and talk talk to it talk to your work and things that are happening that you are unhappy about if it doesn't happen that you are saying true true please help me to find friends like connecting with people of like-mindedness things that he likes people that share his interests and things like that for him to have friends too so that maybe he'll stop being jealous of the fact that you're hanging out with your friends on the cheating if he can't bring himself to trust you then please advise yourself so yeah this brings me to the end of today's video guys thank you guys for watching how do you think the lady should handle this what is your opinion on this matter and do you think the red flags i mentioned are actually red flags see you guys in another video love peace and joy bye